Hi everybody, Elin here. Today I come to you guys with my April TBR because, I mean, it's almost April. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk about five books that I really do want to read in April. I know I've been quite bad at following my TBRs lately, even though I have not had a lot of books on them. But this month I'm really going to push through and hopefully finish all of these five. So the first book I want to read is... Uh, Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi and in this one we meet Celie and she's living she's been living in this world uh, where there used to be magic and she actually remembers it being magic in this world but then they it came this then there came this really like awful um king and magic sort of went away somehow and the people that actually have the ability to possess magic and use magic um, have gone into hiding and apparently there's not a lot of them left um, but they need to keep it a secret because if anybody finds out that they have magic then they will be you know followed and then killed because of it um, so I really do like the premise of this I've heard great things about it I love the cover, which is also, you know, always a plus. Um, and I'm really looking forward to reading this one, so hopefully I will be able to, you know, do that. And then I want to read This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills, and look at that cover! Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. And underneath that jacket, like, I don't know if you can see that, because it's so shiny, but... Uh, this is, like, the most beautiful book in the history of books. Um, but in this one we meet this girl named Sloane and she's actually recently moved to this new town and that she becomes best friend with a girl named Vera. And Vera also happens to have a twin brother called Gabe. And it turns out these two twins have a mother that passed away a couple of years ago and she actually made this painting um, before she passed away. And then one day that painting disappears and Sloane takes it up on herself to try to find the thief and also bring back the painting to the twins and to be able to do that she actually crosses state lines and she also gets to dig really deep into the twins lives um, so that's pretty much all I know about it uh, it sounds very different um, but I do love Emma Mills books so far I read two of the ones she has and this is the last one so I'm really really looking forward to reading this one and I feel like all of her books are such quick reads so hopefully I will just fly through this one. I'm trying to do good on my like bookish new re year re resolutions that's a tongue twister um, but I do want to finish some series which is why I want to read The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan, which is book two in the Kane Chronicles. This is actually a trilogy. Um, loved the first book in the series called The Red Pyramid. So, of course, I want to, you know, dive right into this one. Uh, so, we meet Connor and Sadie, who are siblings. Um, and they find out that this, you know, magic is real. And there's Egyptian gods, which also exist. Um, and they run across a couple of problems. Um, their father disappears and they have to try to save him and bring him back. Um, so there's a lot of shit happening. Uh, it's a different kind of style of portraying the story. Um, but I do really like it and I just I want to just get right into this as soon as possible because I love this series so, so much. And the second to last book I want to read, which is quite huge actually, is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. And this is the first book and I think it's a series, I'm not sure, I know it's going to be more books though. Um, but this is an arc that I got in a Fire Loop box I want to say. Um, last year uh, and this book comes out um, May 22nd of this year so I thought April would be a good month to read it because you know it might take some time <laughs> because it's so big um, but yeah so we don't really know a lot of this um, so we're gonna read on the back uh, but it says when assassins ambush her best friend the crown prince Riel Dardin, Dardin, I don't know, risks everything to save him, exposing her ability per to perform all seven kinds of elemental magic. It awesome. Love magic. Uh, the only people who should possess this extraordinary power are paraprophesized queens, a queen of light and salvation, and a queen of blood and destruction. To prove she's the sun queen, Riel must endure seven trials to test her magic. If she fails, she will be executed unless the trials kill her first. A thousand years later, the legend, legend of Queen Riel is a mere fairy tale to bounty hunter Eliana 
said Akora. When Dundang Empire covered, conquered her kingdom, she embraced violence to keep her family alive. Now she believes herself untouchable until her mother vanishes without a trace, along with countless other women in their city. To find her, Eliana joins a rebel captain on a dangerous mission and discovers that the evil at the heart of, empires, of the empire is more terrible than she ever imagined. So, really cool. Two different stories. So far, I kind of feel like the real story is more interesting than the Elana story, but we'll see about that. But I've heard really great things about it, and it has really good ratings on Goodreads, so far at least. So, hopefully, I will like this. Now, we actually come to a reread from me, and that is Clockwork Angel by Cla Cassandra Clare. And this is book one in Different Devices. And well, I have to read, <laughs> you have to read Mortal Instrument and the Infernal Devices kind of every other book so you can finish the series and not being spoiled on one or the other. So I did read this a couple of years ago, but then I never continued on with the trilogy, so I don't really remember anything. <laughs> but I mean, there's Shadow Hunters and Vampires and Demons and everything like that in this um, series as well. It only takes place in the time uh, of reign of Queen Victoria. So they're in the London Institute and Tessa Gray actually goes there. She's trying to find her brother but um, he turns out not to be there and she sort of gets kidnapped by these weird ladies and then there's some magic and stuff. It's kind of hard to explain <laughs> um, but yeah I look forward to reading this. Um, so hopefully we'll have to do so you can actually move on to the other books in both The Mortal Instruments and the infernal devices. Yeah, those were all of the books I'm hoping to read in April. Obviously I'm aiming towards reading more but I do want to keep it somewhat open for you know you know mood kind of reading. Um, but yeah if you like this video please don't forget to give me some thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button down below and please let me know in the comments what you're planning to read in the month of April and yeah I hope we see each other next time. Bye!